why isn't it? You know, you got a, a, a Twitch streamer who's got like 50,000 people watching them and you've got like a little a little website that's just, you know, in, in some niche product. Right, let's see if we're back in. I sound like the Game of Thrones music. That's the second time I've thought Game of Thrones. <laughs> it's, a, it's a difficult one, isn't it, Caskill? <laughs> I mean, I get you know, not everyone's gonna like every game that you play, but if you if you've stopped playing games and are just playing community games. The thing is, if he's got a successful channel out of it and, you know, maybe he wants to pay the bills from streaming and it's working for him and his community's expanding and he's happy, then, yeah, I mean, why not? Go for it, right? You wouldn't take that away from him anyway, would you? I really like the combat in this game, man. It's it's super super responsive, man. I, I don't think we'll change a lot, Jabosh. It's the one. It's the one thing in this game that I think will not go down well. Is that from what I could be wrong? So I don't. I don't want to like speak out of turn and find out. You, you know, I'm misleading you, but I don't think your character. You are like this. This dude, my, my dude can hold different weapons. I can have like a big two-handed sword or a gun or whatever I want. But I don't think my physical appearance changes, if that makes sense. So, um... And, and I think in a game where people like, you know, looking the part and... I mean, if I show you this, if I go to like my character... Uh... Oh, go on then. Uh, you can do the tutorials anytime I press on the tutorial menu. Let's, let's go for this. Uh, the loadout menu is where you can set your active character loadout, which consists of character weapon accessories and consumables. Uh, so, so I just saw like rings, I guess. Yeah. So it looks like you get very limited slots, really, dude. Uh, select any of the available weapon slots and the equipment grid swipe and the inventory, blah, blah, blah. So he's got something called an Aurelian Monk set, but it is it only consists of like a couple of rings and an amulet or locket lot. So you know, I'm I'm not gonna be getting like better armor. You know, better boots, better boots. But did I just say boots twice? Well, I suppose there's two feet, right? <laughs> but you get my point, you know. Uh, I'm not too worried about all that. It's probably fairly self-explanatory. But yeah, so I mean I am Wingrave. That that is what my character looks like. And then Vanguard is sword. That basically means sword and shield from what I can understand. So I could switch to a two hand and it'd probably be something else. Uh, I can customize my character, but not really, I don't think, dude. You know, I've got a few emotes, trinkets, some character dies. We saw another dude that looked like me, but he was very red. And, and I think that, that's the one thing that... You haven't got an identity. There's no character creation. I don't mind not having character creation. I could probably live without that. You know, who cares? Yeah, it'd be kind of nice to have a moustache or a big uh, big beard, whatever you want to go for. But yeah, there's no like armor slots or anything. You know, what you see is kind of what you get when you choose that, that character room. <laughs> the stream's I, I, I was going to say, it's not my end, is it? No. You just saw this game over screen in Baldur's Gate. What? What, on yours, Casco? Yeah, I, I, I've got to admit, the, the animations are really nice, yeah. This dude does look really cool. Yeah, the, the fact that he actually looks really cool as it is means that I'm not... Oh, what's that? <laughs> It's like an event or something. Uh, I thought the same thing about Fortnite. Yeah, definitely. I suppose they've seen something that people 
clearly uh, associate with the game. They've gone for a very Fortnite-esque. I mean, the whole game, one could argue, has got a certain Fortnite vibe to it, to be fair. What's that, Bob? Going to the what, dude? Going to, going to character, was it? Click on the persona in style. That's where we just were, wasn't it? Oh, that one, maybe. Oh, hang on a minute. Uh... Oh. Oh, we do have armor then. Oh, have, have we actually got any of this? Uh... Oh, dude. Well, there you go then. I'll take it back. Exactly what I said. Uh, so we can get different shoulders. And <laughs> Are they statistically different or just cosmetically different? Oh. Because like I said, I haven't seen like any armor dropping. So isn't this only cosmetic, dude? Which could still be cool. I mean, I wouldn't mind that. You know, if there's some really cool stuff like from some bosses perhaps or, you know, multiplayer side of things. Like I, that, That's better than not having anything. So there's the skins. We, we know about these. We saw them earlier, didn't we? So, so we know about the weapon skins. Uh, these are just emotes. We've got loading artwork. Uh, anything else, Bob, that we've not... Oh, hang on. Didn't we have a... Didn't someone say that we've got a level up? The Echoes menu is where you uh, you socket creature Echoes into active equipment for bonuses. We like to learn how this menu works. Yeah, let's go for it. Because then we've got abilities, which are the skills. Oh, whoa, what the hell? Whoa, dude. The Echoes menu allows you to increase the power effects of your current character loadout. Your character weapon and accessories have a number of available Echo slots that you can use to equip your collected Echoes. Select one of the unlocked echo slots in the echo grid. This will open the echo in. Oh man, this is cool. I see where this is going. This actually does look really neat. They are not committed to the slot you place them in. You can freely remove equipped echoes. Nice. Nice, dude. So you've got attack, guard, balance, cross type, which grants a larger boost to stats for a bigger cost. And Rush type, which grants special effects and properties. Each slot also comes in one of five types. Echoes, Echoes can be equipped to a slot. Oh, it looks like some really good customization of characters then, doesn't it? I must admit, I, I think... Uh, I, don't know, I don't know if I saw it in my game or on a stream where... Oh, no, I'm thinking of Deep Rock Galactic. Where you had a loadout menu. Like one of like six or seven loadouts. Echoes can grow in power by fusing with other Echoes to rank up into the Echo Fusion menu. Oh, I see, I see. All right, that's kind of neat, man. Have I got any Echoes? I assume I haven't. Echo capacity 0 out of 12. So there's the guard, the balance, empty attack slot. Right, abilities. Uh, the abilities menu where you learn about your abilities. So your active ability is made up of your four unique character abilities and one weapon ability granted by your currently equipped weapon. That's what I was saying there. So, so I can switch out like to a great sword or even like twin daggers or something and get different skill with it. But They can be performed while exploring the environment and during combat encounters. You can navigate through the grid of abilities to get more information. I wonder if there's like a, a fast weapon switch. Like in the middle of combat, can I switch from sword and board light like, to a two-hander? Or is it only done through outside of combat inventory switch? I swear I keep hearing Game of Thrones, man. Uh, unlocking abilities. When a Wayfinder reaches levels 3, 5, and 9, you'll be able to choose an ability for them to recall. Oh, okay. So 3, 5, and 9. Uh, once you complete your choice of level 9, you'll have recalled all of their abilities. Got you. I think I'm getting attacked. Oh, God, God, God. Oh, God. If I disconnected, then I would have been so pissed off. Dude, that, that dude's got a skull over his head. Right, hang on. Let, let, me, let me get somewhere safe, guys. Yeah, look, cause I, can see my, I can see my character's face now. Look. But thanks for that, Bob. I didn't know about that. Well spotted, dude. Your party just got... Oh, sorry, I thought you meant... Oh, sorry, I, I misread that, mate. I thought you meant as in game over, as in you finished the game, not game over because your party wiped. <laughs> Do you have dance emotes? Uh, there are emotes. So I've got, only got... I've got, a, I've got a wave emote. I've got a 
nailed it emote. And I have a bring it emote. No dance emotes as of yet. Yeah, we know this dies because we saw someone that was exactly the same as me, but they had like red armor ball. So yeah, we kind of guessed it was some sort of die system. Let's uh, see what this is. About. Oh, the, these these are these are bad dudes. Jeez. Oh, shut up, Dave. They got a shield. But yeah, that, that's, that's, that's like a world event for multiple players, I think, isn't it? Holy balls, boys. Let's get back up here. Let's go and have a look at our skills. And let's go and hand in this quest and see where we go next. Is the sound all right, guys? So where was this? So we go to character and go to abilities. So I can either do Radiant Pulse, which is the one I was saying about the ranged attack barrier. So it blocks projectiles and grants a defensive boost to allies standing in... F uh, and it also sends out a Radiant Pulse dealing damage. But then I've also got this, which is like a taunt. Because um, I had this in the tutorial and it says taunts. So marks enemies of judgment. Anyone hitting a judged enemy will restore their own health. I wonder if that I wonder if that counts for me. Do you think I get a... I don't know which one to go for. Well, we'll go for that. That'll do us, won't it? <coughs> Uh, there's a potion for your hit from the early access battle pass stuff. Yeah, I've got, I've got, oh, a po- What do you mean? I've got six potions. I know I've got access to six pots, which I can replenish. that purple thing. Entrance to the uh... <clears throat> this dude's got a gun over there, man. That looks badass, bro. What the hell's that? What's that player code, bro? XXXRH. What the hell's that, bro? Yeah, this is where I fuel the flasks, isn't it? So it
I, I haven't died yet, gamer. No, I, I, I have no idea, dude. I mean, at this point in the game, it's fairly, fairly simple, isn't it? Even a couple of fights where I thought, oh, Jesus, that looks rough. It's, it's not been unmanageable at all. I've, I've not even used the healing pot yet, dude. I could probably have taken out some of those dudes, but it would have been a long, laborious uh, murder of them all, wouldn't it? Uh, travel to Skylight. So, guys, it's going to crash me. Well, not crash, but disconnect me. So what's that ball? Uh, so there's a potion for your hit from the early access battle pass. Stuff. And what does that do... Oh, what, 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 where would I get access to that then, dude? I love this place, man. I really like the overall design. I think it's absolutely stunning, man. Flying mounts, bro. That's what we need. Flying mounts. <laughs> and, and a pet cat. It is tempting to give WoW another bash one day. I, as many as, as... I just know... I know it will never work out. I know it's a disastrous idea, but... God damn, there is something about... All the stuff you can get in that game. You know, brand new, fresh start and classic or something. Oh, dude. So this dude's got some way bigger shoulder pads than me, look. And he's definitely got a different style of armor. So he's clearly getting... Can't really make out. One moment, wait. I need to balance the arcanic pressure in this. No, game. I couldn't, couldn't play well. Yeah. Hard, no. hardcore. What have you brought for me? See, too many things can go wrong in a party. So someone AFKs. I just don't. I don't know why anyone would want to play hardcore outside of the diehards, people that are simply bored of the game or content creators. To be honest, you, you could all get insta wipe just because like your healer's disconnected or something. I can't imagine a, a more horrible way to play a Holy Trinity MMO than hardcore. Just, just couldn't do it. it. It's for content creators at the end of the day. Uh, reinstall Walter. Yeah, well, th th this is this is very heavily. Uh, uh, is it some of the dev team works on that? I, I know they were dark siders or whatever, but th this is this has definitely got a wild star kind of. There's a memorabilia that's sort of there, isn't it? You're right, see my way, man. Uh, sort of like Destiny's... Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so, so uh, you know, light, light multiplayer hobs jo join up in a party of three. I don't know. I don't know if it's four. I don't, I don't know what the limit is, but... But yeah, it's it's not an MMO. No, no more than Lost Ark is an MMO. Well, Destiny's an MMO. Or, or uh, Diablo 4's an MMO. Yes. Yes. These creatures were altered with arcanic power. Shadow, certainly, perhaps a hint of chaos. But this isn't the random work of the gloom. This shows intention. The Codex were monks of the Imperium. They couldn't have done this. Even if they knew how, working with the element of shadow is anathema in the Avar faith. I must know more. Wayfinder, you must find the source of this. But to do so, we must accelerate your training. You must learn to shape the gloom. Shape the, the gloom? gloom? Is a maelstrom of shadows and chaos. Anchors pull together visions of what might have been. Fragments of the whole. And when you leap in blindly, an anchor pulls you in. Mm -hmm. But you can do more than this. With your dagger, you can cut through the chaos and carve a direct path. You can hunt down an enemy, strike a specific foe. These webs hold traces of a greater threat. I can isolate its spore. I can give you what you need to hunt, but you are not fully prepared. You must meet the other seekers. Each has something you need, tools you can use. Arsenal can arm you. The engineer can give you strength. Venge finds treasures in the rubble. And Omen is the wisest of all. Go. 
speak to them. Jesus, there's so many like things I just haven't got the time to dig into at the minute. I, want, I just want to see because I'm, I'm constantly getting disconnected I don't want to spend all my time just looking at what all this stuff is and crafting I want to see like I want to play a bit more of the combat so uh, even the way the game feels you know like you're on a ticking sort of you're going to get booted no matter what you do in a minute kind of takes away the, uh, the pace of it a little bit so what were you saying about the battle pass battle, battle pass battle pass did you say battle pass ball Battle Pass is accessible from your menu. Uh, have I got a Battle Pass? I, I don't know what you mean, dude. Uh, imbuements. Key items. Coming soon. So these are player badges, titles. All right, okay. Uh, let's just carry on. Uh, find Arsenal in Market Row. God, it looks so good. I hope I can put myself inside a cannon at some point and launch myself to some goblin infested island. This uh, train track here. Yeah. Well, monetization appears to be largely the. They've already backtracked on it, haven't they? I don't know if I can show you it. So there's been a massive backlash about this. Uh, as pa I mean, it's weird because I pointed it out in Pallia yesterday, and yet, you know, uh, unless they've changed it. So you can buy access to classes, or you can. I think some of them are going to be locked. So I don't think there's any other way to get Kairos outside of like some sort of crazy pre-order, I think, or obviously spending money on it. Um, most of the classes you can unlock in the game, I believe. Um, but it's one of those games where, like, you know, like, everything's sort of like, you can only buy, let's, I don't know what these are called, let's just call them Rupals. Uh, everything, say, costs a thousand Rupals, but you can only buy 900 at a time, if that makes sense. Or, you know, you can only buy a thousand, but everything's a thousand and fifty. And they've already said they're going to fix that. But yeah, th there's been such a backlash over it. So, and, and they're also going to then compensate you as well. It looks like maybe they've already changed it. Maybe. So there, you can see one that 1100, look, there. But, you know, that's 1150. So the classic, you, you know, oh, you've got to overspend and have a little bit left over, which then... You're a little bit more tempted to then top that up a little bit. So they've, they've, they've said, yeah, all right, we've taken on board that feedback. They're going to change the pricing and they're also going to then reimburse people that have already made any purchases. So I don't really worry about it, dude, to be honest. I, I, you know, most of it looks largely cosmetic. So you've got to assume that there. Yeah, there you go, look. Is, is a home decoration as, as it clearly states so yeah so there is definitely home stuff and then you've got the founders packs so, yeah, you know it, no, no more than any other game from what i can see but they they have agreed to uh rebalance the in well yeah you know the, the currency purchase and make it more in sync with the costs of everything your weapon is a memory of what it could be. Look at the little fan spinning around up on, on the top middle and top left. I like that. So we've got I a new a quest. Newborn from the void. You are Skylight's fist, child. And I am the weapon master. I am Arsenal. And I can place steel in your hands. So, so that is the so is that is that the rebalance? Is it how you're? Yes, yeah, so they've already done it, have they? I mean, if they've already done that, that's, that's fair play to do it so quickly. 
What's that, right? We could get a clan going your way. I'd love to get back into it. Yeah, it's tough, though, isn't it? It's like I said to Finn, so I can't go hardcore, man. I, I just couldn't do it, you know, especially live streaming it. Imagine, like, you know, someone gets a disconnect and then, like, the whole fucking team gets wiped. You, you, you just never forgive yourself, would you? <laughs> it makes for great content. <laughs> but I couldn't, I couldn't put someone through it, man. That, that, that's for, that's for the, the big cheese, isn't it? Yeah, and, and the other thing is, you've only got to end up on that server that's got, like, you know, a clan based on some big YouTube channel or Twitch channel that are just going around slaughtering everyone in, in open world PvP for insta mega death in hardcore mode, you know? It's, uh, you know, I think it's for people that have probably had their fill, you know, in a big clan, big guild, and just, you know, just after a taste of something new. How are you, how are you too, man? things, dude. You all ready to go, Permarin? Uh, the last time I was this level excited was when I got my driver's license. The computer exited is on a whole different... Are you talking about Starfield, bro? You need a weapon worthy of a legend. Eclipse, the Titan's Bane. I like the sign of them. Hmm. I know many weapons you might wield, but all have been swallowed by the gloom. Last, but not forever. Gimme, 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 gimme. We drew you forth from the gloom when you were lost. You can do the same now. You can call an echo of a legendary weapon from the void, and you can make it real. How? Uh, 40 99 <laughs> Visa and PayPal accepted, it right? It is no simple thing to find a weapon in the gloom and master it, but... I know them all. Oh, aren't you the smart one? I can tell one. you what you need to gather. And together, we will see you armed with a weapon worthy of you. It looks like there's a lot of progression here. And, and I'm, I'm very much into that. It looks like there's a whole, you know, the chance like Bol was saying, all sorts of wonderful little extras and cosmetics to pick up. Legendary weapons to, to bolt together. I'm kind of, I kind of like it. it. It looks like there's a fair, a fair depth to it all. Uh, right, talk to Venge about the supplies they offer. Oh, what the hell? A priority quest is a special type of quest that unlocks key systems and uh, gameplay features. Try to prioritize these. Okay, we'll, we'll do that then. Well, hang on, should we just have a look at that now then? So if we go to quests... Oh, priority quests. Well, let, let's go and speak to Verge or whoever it is. Venge, sorry, not Verge. Oh, he looks badass. Oh, dude, why can't I play like a dude like that, man? You need to ask how I've been A new wayfinder. Delightful, delightful. I'm Venge, and you need what I have, for I have what you need. Whatever that may be. A potion, a poem. What is it now? Lord Halar said I should introduce myself. Good. good. <laughs> it's hard to get supplies in what's left of the world, but my friends and I comb the broken pieces and find those things you need. I'll be here when you know what that is. Okay. Talk to the engineer about accessories. Oh, dude. Man, there is some stuff in this game. So magical defense, crit rating, and physical defense. Oh man, this is a number crunchers uh, dream come true, isn't it? Resilience, Jesus man. Basic arcanic elixir. Uh, Provides one use of a basic arcane elixir. Effect increases weapon power by 25%. Max stamina, physical. Oh, wow, man. You've got to think that at some point that the training wheels will be off and we're going to start getting our ass handed to us on a regular basis, aren't we? Um, look at that stained glass window, man. She is. What are you looking for? I don't know. I'm just lost in this wonderful digital world. Um, 
Hang on, it did say talk to me about accessories, didn't it? Hail, thank you for the 40 of the prime, dude. How are you, man? You are newly returned, yes? You may find my appearance unsettling, but uh. trust me, <laughs> no one knows more about the interaction of magic and metal than Thanks, Hail. Thank you very much, bro. There is power within you. Accessories will help you focus that power. Their gifts may seem slight, but even the slightest breeze can turn the tide. The greatest accessories cannot simply be crafted. But you, Wayfinder, you can reach within the gloom and pull forth the echo of such a relic. You can dream of a lost legend and make it real. <laughs> You're talking about the rainbow cat, aren't you, Yeti? <laughs> I wonder what you meant. What you said about the cat in your world? I said, I don't remember any cats. <laughs> I do remember the bloody cat. The one, the one that sat on the front porch of those homes. God, that is an ugly ass game, isn't it? New World is probably one of the most beautiful games, actually. Let, 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 let's rephrase this. New World is probably, outside of Black Desert Online, the most beautiful MMO that I've ever seen. I think the level of detail in the world is phenomenal. Uh, really... Really high ambience for all the zones. Very well crafted, everything from, from the, the rain and the dark nights, blah, blah, blah. Really pretty, right? However, as soon as players enter the world, it becomes possibly one of the ugliest MMOs I've ever played because the armor is, without any shadow of a doubt, uh, almost a game killer for me. And I'm sure I'm not the only one. And also the housing... Um, decoration is some of the most god awful that I've ever seen in a video game. So, so like I said, the new world without any players being allowed in it would be a really nice game. <laughs> Allow the players into it and it becomes a cesspool of terrible art choice. All power has a price. There are things you must find before I can help you. But in the days ahead, you and I will make wondrous things. Even their own store was full of some of the worst designed clothing and armor I've ever seen in a digital product. I bet Dog Turd Simulator has better design than you are. It's a shame because it's a good game, man. Where it is now, should I say? As you know, you weren't the only hero lost to the gloom. We both lost friends on the day of the fall, but they may not be lost forever. It's not easy to pull a wayfinder from the gloom. We need to find the echoes of the hero and use the beacon to create a path they can follow. But together, we can bring them back. There are things I need you to find. Elements of power. Traces of our fallen champions. We need to remember who they were so we can find them in the darkness. We need more Wayfinders if we are to survive. Continue your work with Lord Halar, my friend. But be ever watchful for the traces that we need. I suppose I haven't had to go and collect like 15 wolves' tails from a rather bizarre genetically anomalous data set of wolves that only have tails like one in a hundred my work has been successful i've drawn the essence from the webs and found the traces <laughs> of their maker the brood mother who spawned these foul things <laughs> I do, you know when I said dog turned simulator, I sat here and in my mind's eye, I was imagining, I wonder how many people in chat have just booted up Steam to see if there is actually a game called dog turned simulator. <laughs> and much to my merriment, I thought, well actually, I bet there is a game called dog turned simulator. <laughs> Probably one of those like 199 games on Steam. And if there isn't, I think we should make it, all right? <laughs> I think Grumbonia should start. Is Jabosha in chat? I reckon we get. Uh, well, Wook is uh, quite the talented coder. 
And we could get Ender. And, and I reckon we make Dog Turd Simulator. <laughs> I think it could be the next big hit on Twitch. But before you reach her, you must craft a Gloom Trace and use it on the Gloom Gate. <laughs> I will provide the materials you need this once. But in the future, you will need to find them <coughs> yourself. Once made, the Gloom Trace will guide you directly to your prey. <laughs> I hope you took advantage of what our secrets have to offer. I'm, I'm not sure we could I afford him, to be honest, Jibosho. <laughs> this is willing to be paid in Haribos or Grum Bombs. I believe we may be able to use these Gloom Traces to target specific foes in the future, if need. Craft the Gloom Trace and then go to the gate. The gloom, the gloom trace. trace will guide you to your foe. Okay. We need to know what the Codex was doing. This brood mother may brood be mother. That sounds like a proper Blood. boss, dude. Okay, let's do it, boys. Now, do we do that, right? Or do we do the one that they suggested maybe we should prioritize, which was the pro oh, there's loads of priority quests. Let's get rid of the main can I untrack that? Let's go and speak to Ruby in Skylight. Because that, that's something about the home, isn't it? Yeah, look, we've got a, a dude from uh well, I don't know if it Yeah, look, I was saying earlier to Starkey, look, Chinese characters. So you've got to assume I'm on a server with the whole world. This isn't like an EU server, is it? At least I think it's Chinese. I mean, I, well, I don't know, but... Do us a favour, Wookie. Put, put a dog turd in your uh, mod for us. You are automated. How are you, bro? How's things? How's the family, mate? Just a little tip of the hat to uh, Grumbodia, bro. <laughs> Just give it like a really sort of enigmatic description. Oh, most of Skylight was destroyed in the fall. We've spent the last year rebuilding, making sure everyone has some sort of shelter. It's a struggle, but I've managed to find a good space for you. You'll find your place in the Great Hall, just behind Wolf. It's snug, to be sure, but I'm sure you'll find ways to make it feel like home. Let me know if you need help with that. I've got some furnishings and a few odds and ends you might like, but you should go take a look at the place before you make any decisions. Go and settle in. Nice. You are a big... Uh... Um, person? Enter your apartment in the Great Hall. Let's gonna look at. Ooh. Well, we'll, we'll have to fine tune the actual gameplay loop, Missy. I don't. <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> I think I think we could come up with something. Playing desync. What's desync, man? We're, we've had a lot of desync in this, bro. Puts me back in a queue for 35 minutes. Oh, that looks yummy, dude. Not up there, is it? God, I could spend hours in a in a world that looks like this. I think it's just gorgeous, man. They, they've got what could be, could be, quite an interesting game here. Ooh. Oh. Should we do it? See what happens. In fact, like, like an automation style game, automated or. Yeah, well, I, that's what I was thinking. You see, I was thinking like playing a dog turd, right? And you could, it, it's like a murder simulator, but you're a dog turd. So we, we could have it, we, obviously we don't want it in a big open world to start because that would be quite hard to actually have a project of such that scope and scale. So what we could do, we could be a dog turd, say, in a much smaller environment, like a house. 
and maybe a small garden. And um, we can set traps and things. But but we are the we we're like the, the piece of poop. So so we can put ourselves on like the you know the top step of the stairs and we, we can have it as a home defense simulator where we play as a dog turd and we have to cause them to slip into terrible things. Or or we can have it as um we're we're like a, a dog <laughs> <laughs> we're like an evil entity, right? So, so we're a dark evil spirit, yeah? But uh, our, our sort of the hierarchical demon system doesn't really doesn't really value us. So we've been reincarnated as a demonic presence in the form of a dog turd. So we, 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 we go to different family homes and we have to murder the individuals that live there. Not by being you know, a scary monster, but by being a dog turd. And, and for every death, we capture a soul. And and then we later on, we could even like maybe like slither around as a dog turd, you know? So, yeah, you know, we, it, there could be progression and, and, and skills we could unlock. Like, like we could get like um, the foul stench. Like to start with, just a small curly dog turd. But like later on, you get like sort of like demonic powers, like the foul stench and things, you know? So what am, I, what am I supposed to do in here? Is there anything I can do? Oh, oh enter edit mode. Ooh. 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 Okay, so we've got like a free view camera, which is silky smooth. I've got to, I've got to give them that. Um, open the invent. Ooh. Pallia, you suck balls, mate. This is way better than Pallia, boys. Uh, that's up, that's down. Right, let's let's put ourselves a nice bed. It's super sensitive, actually. Bed it. Oh, look at that! Just look at that. Uh, I think we'll have a little. We'll have a little. Oh, is, is that a stool? All right. Well, well, I'll tell you what. We'll put we'll put a little stool over there. And we'll have a we'll have a chair. So it'll do. Let's put a table in fur. Oh, nice! Look at that. And then we'll pop a nice little chair in. That's kind of cool how that works, actually. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, we'll put a little chair in. There. Uh, we've got a nice sort of. I put that. Can you go anywhere or any on the grid? Any on the grid? Uh, I don't think. I don't think I can angle it. Cycle rotation snap size. Cycle grid snap size. All oh, right. Okay. But I. Yeah, I don't. Unless anyone's seen something I'm not, I don't think I can angle it at full. Oh, I was going to say that that would be a surprise. Oh God, no! Not like this! Not doing! I'm in my happy place, bro. I'm killing things and building a room. This is all I dreamed of while playing Palia. Why? Why you do this to me, bro? Why is it flashing? Dude, what's happened? No, not like this. Not like this, bro. Why, why, why you do this to me? Why you do this to me? I don't even know what it's doing. I'm not even pressing any buttons, boys. Back, let's go back. Why is it just flashing like that? Uh, uh. I think we need to quit the desktop because that, for some reason, it's it's just that that's not right, is it, man? That is not right, boys. That is not right. Why? Why? <laughs> right, back to dog turd simulator. Then. 
<laughs> the more humans you eat, you get bigger as a turd. What, so you become like this like giant gelatinous cube of poop? Yeah, I like that. Sort of shuffling down the, uh, the corridor. So no belt and spots instead of building programming is like blocked programming, UE5 style. It's, so UE5 style or it is UE5? <laughs> did, I, did I see Snorks in town? I'm sure I saw Snorks. You're right, Snorks. Spy versus spy. Oh, I, I, tell you, I tell you what I always thought would make a good goodie instead of all these crappy RimWorld bollocks. Is, um... Do you remember a game called Syndicate? Is it, was it Bullfrog or Blizzard or someone? Yeah, something's wrong with the game, look. That's not me. It's just like flashing and we've just quit out, man. Did you just get booted as well, game, or...? <laughs> Poodle for stealth. <laughs> Great, Dane. <laughs> I like the amount of effort that's going into this. <laughs> yeah. It's a lot better than some of the uh, early concept discussions I've been a part of. <laughs> Oh, dear me. It, it, same thing, Raz, yeah? That, that they've clearly dropped a right clanger. So you got disconnected at the same time as me and you're getting this same glitch, yeah. Syndicate, Syndicate. Oh, hang on. What's Syndicate and Syndicate Wars? You're going to have to forgive me then, Snorks. I'm not sure about that then, dude. Uh... Syndicate and Syndicate Wars. I know, I know there was Syndicate, which was like a really old game. Uh, and then they did like, didn't they do a first person Syndicate? I'm sure they did, didn't they? Which I actually really enjoyed, but no one else played it. And, and it wasn't Syndicate, uh, to be fair, but... I just closed down a Steam game and just see if um, that makes any difference. 